This is the LG Velvet, a fashionable new smartphone that is all about the looks and it also is the beginning of a new strategy from LG. Instead of having boring and confusing names like LG G Thank You or LG V, the company now wishes to move forward with more enticing devices with catchy names and catchy looks. And also judging by those stickers in the camera app, it's definitely not tailor-made for tough guys unless you want to see them with bunny ears and heart emoji. So anyway, the LG Velvet is not quite a flagship. Price is set at around $700, about as much as an iPhone 11, and to get to that price, LG cut some corners. We've got a beautiful design, however the processor inside it is not the most powerful around. But wait, let's take it from the top. We've had the LG Velvet for about a week now, and this is our full review. The Velvet looks dazzling on first view. You have a few different colorways, and the one we have here has a glass back with an explosion of colors. Tilt the phone a bit and the colors transform in all sorts of interesting ways. We imagine many girls would be happy to own such a pretty phone, and actually the whole time we were using the phone, we kept on thinking about K-pop and how it would fit in that culture. Now it also has a slightly curved screen on the front and a similarly curved glass back. By the way, if you enjoy watching this, consider subscribing to our channel to get the newest videos as fast as possible, it's hugely appreciated. So physically the phone is quite large, but it's surprisingly lightweight, thin and well balanced. This might actually be the thinnest large phone we have used so far in 2020. It's a pleasure to hold with one hand, even if the screen is a bit too large for single thumb operation. The hardware buttons on the sides feel just a bit stiff and just a tad wobbly. But did we mention you get a dedicated Google Assistant button on the left? Hey Google! So press and hold it to directly start talking to the assistant and get quick answers. That's not a bad addition to the experience. The super shiny back of the phone is of course a fingerprint magnet, but when clean it looks stunning, so the overall aesthetic and build quality feel on point for a flagship phone. Now the screen on the front is a massive 6.8 inch AMOLED panel. It's large, it's pretty and it's sharp. There is a teardrop notch where you have the front camera, but it's delicate and doesn't get in the way too much. You can also fine tune the colors on the screen. There are a few color profiles to pick from, so you can go from those punchy AMOLED colors to a more subdued natural look in just a few taps. On the back we have a 48 megapixel main camera which performs mostly well for what it is. It's definitely no match for a flagship phone though. Colors are vivid and a bit oversaturated, but pleasing to the eye nonetheless. Our one complaint is that the camera tends to noticeably over sharpen details, giving them jagged edges. These photos have that taken with a smartphone look to them, but they will definitely serve their purpose for social media. The portrait mode on the LG Velvet is just a bit finicky, so it works ok for close up portraits of a single subject, but if you're taking a wide angle shot, focusing on your subject and isolating it is not always accurate. The selfie camera is ok, not as sharp as its 16 megapixel sensor suggests and it's also prone to blowing out highlights a bit more than usual, but it does make for serviceable selfies. On the software side we have Android 10 on board with LG's proprietary skin on top. We have the customizable navigation bar on the bottom or you can go with gesture navigation. And you can also pick between an iOS-like look with no app drawer, or you can still have the app drawer, much like a typical Android phone, LG gives you all of those options in the interface. We've also got themes and wallpapers that look very distinct and very nice. Check out these animated live wallpapers, beautiful colors, beautiful animations. This phone is just such an eye pleaser. The custom LG interface also comes with a game launcher, night mode that makes the screen easier on the eyes, reading mode, split screen, one handed mode, everything in the kitchen sink. On the audio side you do have a headphone jack, which is a rarity these days, and headphones come in the box and they sound quite nice. 
you also get stereo loudspeakers with booming sound, but they tend to distort and mush up the high range a little bit. They do their job fine for YouTube videos or podcasts, but not so much for music or movies. You do have an equalizer for music playback though, a feature that audio geeks will appreciate. And then there are a couple of accessories that will be sold separately for the Velvet, which will enhance its usefulness. There is an active pen, which should make this a direct competitor to Samsung's Galaxy Note phones. Now, we did not get to test this one yet, but what we did get to test is the new cover display, which makes the Velvet into a sort of a foldable phone by adding a second screen to it. It's a weird accessory, but it's not as crazy expensive as a folding phone while giving you a lot of that experience. So you might consider it. Under the hood, the LG Velvet has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 765G processor. It's one step short of a flagship, but definitely performs very well in daily use. The Velvet didn't freeze or lag, it works quite smoothly actually. The battery in this phone has a 4300mAh capacity, and that's quite large for such a thin body. It can take you through a day like a champ and still have juice left for the morning after. Unless you are a heavy gamer or an Instagram pro, but even then it can take quite a while before you can drain the LG Velvet all the way down to 0%. So should you get the LG Velvet right now in 2020? If you like shiny, fashionable gadgets, absolutely. This one is as glitzy as phones get. We imagine it will also make a great gift for Instagrammers, TikTokers and many girls. It's not a phone for the geek though, that's for sure. And at that $700 price, competition is fierce. You have the iPhone 11 for those who want that Apple logo and that high performance and the iOS ecosystem. While geeks will be better off with a phone like the OnePlus 8, which has faster hardware and 90Hz smooth refresh rate display. But if it's looks you're after, the LG Velvet definitely has them. And cute bunny ears stickers. Lots of them. Anyway, I'm Vic, this is Phone Arena. Thanks for being with us. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next one.